this will be a speed test between the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 versus its predecessor, the Galaxy Note 8. Now the Note 9, this one is the Snapdragon 845 variant with a whopping 512 gigs of storage and 8 gigs of RAM. The Note 8 has the 835 from last year and a not too shabby 6 gigs of RAM. Put the S Pen back in the Note 9. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on both at the same time. See which one has a faster boot up. Let's go. And give the boot up win to the Note 9. And we are in! There's nothing in the background on both. So let's get started by tapping the phone app. Identical. Messages. Ooh, maybe the Note 8 on that one. Camera. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe the Note 8. You guys are the judges. Calculator. Note 9. Leave that in the background. Clock on both phones. Hmm, I don't know. Slow down the video for me. Start the stopwatch. And leave that running in the background. Play Store. Ooh, I don't know. Very similar. Click on Wish. And leave that in the background. eBay on both phones. And give this to the Note 9. Click on this one. And leave it on this page. Twitter app. Note 9, baseball at bat. Note 9 on this one, Samsung internet browser, let's go. Click on Amazon. Very identical performance. Scrolling through this. Okay, a little bit of a, not sure what happened on the 9 there. Kind of odd. Click on the full site. And a little bit faster on the 9. Looking at the progress bar. Note 8 just finished. Pinch to zoom. Nice and butter on both. There we go. On the Note 9. So you can see. And leave that on this page. Super Mario Run. And give this to the Note 9. Tap to begin. Note 9 faster here also. And leave this in the background. Subway Surf. Subway Surfers New York World Tour. Note 9 is ahead. And give this to the Note 9. Waiting for the Note 8. Tap to play. Leave that in the background. Temple Run 2. Temple Run 2 Frozen Shadows. Loading on the Note 9. And the Note 9 is ahead. We'll confirm that right now. And give this to the Note 9. Tap to play. Leave that in the background. Fortnite, let's go. And give this to the Note 9. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Let's go. Note 9 out in front, looking at the progress bar. Note 9 is way ahead. And the Note 8 falling behind here a little bit. And an easy win for the Note 9 on this one. Asphalt 9, let's go. And give this to the Note 9. Tap the play button and leave that in the background. IG on both. Note 9. Snapchat. Note 9 again. So let's take a look at the multitasking of both phones. Everything's in the background as you can see. Note 9 has 8 gigs of RAM. Note 8 has 6 gigs. So let's see what happens. IG still on RAM. This one. Ready to go. Grand Theft Auto. Still in RAM. Fortnite. Good to go on both. Temple Run 2. Paused and ready to resume on both. Subway Surf. Paused and ready to resume on both. Mario Run. No reloads yet. Internet. Same place. 
Baseball app, same place. Twitter, still in RAM. eBay. And ooh, give that to the Note 8. Play Store, still in RAM. The clock on both phones. Running the stopwatch, calculator, good to go. Camera, hmm, give that to the Note 9, I think. Messages. And ooh, what was that? Was that reload on the Note 9? Note 8 kept that in RAM? Interesting. And the phone app, boom. So hit me up in the comments and let me know what you thought about this test. If you have a Galaxy Note 8, are you gonna go ahead and upgrade to the Galaxy Note 9? Or are you gonna stick with your Note 8? Both of these phones have very similar builds, slightly larger display on the Note 9. This one has, of course, up-to-date specs, Snapdragon 845, six or eight gigs of RAM. This one has the 835, only six gigs of RAM. Both have dual cameras, both have the S Pen. Note 9 has the remote S Pen functionality now. Note 8 has the classic S Pen. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Peace out.